Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is minimum characters to be added at front to make a string valid. Right, so this is what our problem is. We'll be understanding the problem statement, we'll be understanding the logic to solve this and then we'll be having a look on the coding part. Right, but before proceeding further guys, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't done so, I believe the channel will be helpful for you. So do subscribe my channel, turn on the bell icon and do join our telegram community as well. With that now, let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem says, given a string str of length n, the task is to find the minimum characters to be added at the front to make a string palindrome. Right? Now, the question is, what is a palindrome? So we can say a palindrome is a word which reads the same backward as forward. Here the example is madam, right? So if you will read this word from left to right or right to left, that would be madam itself, right? So that, are, that is what a palindrome is. Now what question is as, asking from us? The question is asking that what we have to do, our task is to find the minimum characters that we can add at the front of our string to make it a palindrome. We will be understanding the same with the help of an example. So here is our first example. Uh, the string is ABC, right? Now, uh, see, if we are adding, right, if we are adding B and C at the front of our string, that is ABC, then it would be a palindrome. So here you can see we have added C and B. Uh, so now the string would be what? C, B, A, B, C. And that is a palindrome. If you will uh, see from a C, B, A, B, C, C, B, A, B, C, right? So this is what a palindrome is. So how many minimum, minimum characters we are supposed to add? Two, right? And that's what our answer is. Let's understand with the help of an other example too. So this is the string given to us, right? So now you can see A, A, C, E, C, A, A. So that is, up till here we have a, this, this string is palindrome, right? It's just one A is missing. So if you will add this A as well at the front, then we can say this whole string would be what palindrome. Right, so just one character we are supposed to add, that's why the output is one. Even the same they have explained in the explanation too, that add A at front of our string to make it palindrome and that's what our string is going to be. So what our task is, our task is to complete the function min cap, which takes a string S and returns an integer as out. Right, integer is going to be what? Integer is basically denoting the minimum characters that we are supposed to add at the front of our string to make it a palindrome. Right. Now, this is the uh, expected time complexity and auxiliary space right? that they are expecting from our end. So, the one thing we can do the first approach that would be there in your mind to create a to create a LPS array. Right? So, that uh, that that's what you will be thinking that okay, let's create a uh, LPS array right? and that would be storing what? That would be storing the prefix value that would be storing the longest prefix value that would be a suffix right and at the end we'll be having the longest one right at the end or at the end of this array the value that would be there that would be the longest prefix that is a suffix two all right so we can simply like we can simply do what we can simply return the subtraction of the original string and this the value that we have at the end of lps array so for this lps array like uh, what a string we are supposed to take we'll be taking the a string this is string that is given to us and concatenate this with the reverse string, right? Now, most of you must be thinking with that approach, but in this video, we, we are not going to use that particular approach because we can um, easily do this problem by using two pointer approach, right? It could be done easily by that method only. Let's see how. See, if we are if you are just able to find out the uh, longest uh, palindromic substring. Right? If you are just able to determine the longest palindromic substring, right? So that itself would be helpful for us. Let's see, let's see how. For example, here, here if you will see, right? So one, see, this is the longest palindromic substring, right? That we do have, right? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And the completes uh, like for if i will ask you the length of the string that is what eight and the length of longest palindromic substring is what seven so eight minus seven will give you what one and that's what our answer is like this one is one um character we are supposed to get here see here if 
we had a string like if we had string like pb uh, somewhere we were having right uh, somewhere we were having okay, uh, let's say we are having the string db80 right now how you can uh, like what is the like how we can make it how we can make it the minimum number of characters that we are supposed to add to make it a palindrome just think about it if we are adding what ca ca bb ac right so c c a a b b right this is this is the palindrome palindromic string that we are uh, expect, that is expected from our end right so minimum number of characters how many minimum number of characters you added we added two two right and how you can determine this thing so the length of longest palindromic substring is what two right you can see bb this is a palindromic substring bb right and the length of the complete string is what four so four minus two four minus two gave us the number of characters that we're supposed to add okay okay so in that way you can understand or in that way also you can understand it's, let me help you with the same with the help of uh, the code itself that uh, we have written for this particular approach so what we are doing here is so we have first uh, we'll be maintaining two variables i as well as j so i we need to keep track of the from the first element right from the zero element at the zero index and j uh, would be initialized with the value of n minus 1 where n is the size of the length of the string right so that's what we are having now uh, we'll continue in this loop we'll be having a while loop we'll continue this loop till the time i value is less than that of j now see if uh, the value of see, if the value at uh, caret i and jth position so if the value at i8 and jth index is same it means what this is this is contributing in forming a palindrome so we we check for the remaining remaining substring right we'll check for the remaining substring for example this is the string that we can so i would be here for this a and j would be here for this a right so this a and this a is equal right so we'll be proceeding further so how how we will proceed further we'll be incrementing the value of i and decrementing the value of j right so now i will be here for this a and j will be here for this a now again they both are uh, the character is same right for both i and j so again um what will happen i value will be incremented so i will be pointing to this c and j will be pointing to this a now uh, now see now they are not equal c and a we have now they are not equal right so we'll be uh, falling into this else part in, into this else part right so we have got one mismatch it means one character we are supposed to add so that's why what we are doing is this is to keep track of the character that we are supposed to add so for this we have taken a variable res uh, that is what basically we'll be returning at the end so res value uh, we are incrementing here right so now res plus plus okay and now we are taking this i back to zero i this we are taking back to zero like suppose suppose uh if you have added one if you added one character right so again we are going to do the comparison from the starting itself like so the, uh, what we are doing now, uh, now is we are adding oh sorry we are updating the value of i as zero and j value we are uh updating as minus minus trim so trim is what trim is also one variable that was uh pointing to this last element right now we are removing this element it, it's like we are removing this element now we are not considering this element and so j would be pointing to this one j would be pointing to this element now j would be pointing to this element now now we'll be we'll be checking for this uh, this much this is string right you must have got the idea okay now again we are going to do the same thing so i value 0 and j value uh, if j is pointing to this a this this a right so again we are going to check the same thing right so while i less than j okay the condition is true so uh this a and this k would be compared right they are equal then this a and this a would be compared they are equal then this c and this c would be compared they are equal and then i and j value would be equal right uh, at e at e they would be equal so we will come out of the loop and what is the value of res what is the value of res the value of res is nothing but one right and that's what our answer is that's what our answer is right hope you must be able to understand uh, let's take this example as well that we took initially so this one okay this one example let's take so let's say our string is what bbac okay so 
i is pointing to b and and j is pointing to c b and c they both are not equal we'll be falling into this else part res value would be incremented so res value would be what one res value would be one and i value would be uh, updated with zero and j value would be uh, updated this would be minus minus so which means they would be pointing to this a now right again we are going to compare these two value b as well as j they are going to compare these two values so they are not equal right again they are not equal so again we are updating the value of i as 0 and j value is minus minus 3 so j would be pointing to this b now right uh, again uh, i is less than j condition is true so now i is pointing to this b and j is pointing to the second b right so they both are equal right so i value would be incremented and j value would be decremented right okay so this time this condition would be false this condition would be false and we'll come out see uh, we went to this else twice right so res value became 2 right and that's what would be returned that's what would be returned right so yeah that's what the complete logic is and that's what we have implemented as well right so i hope that you must be able to understand you must be able to understand so what we are doing is we are just keeping track of the characters uh, that we are supposed to add that's what we are doing in this else part incrementing the value of res and that's what we are returning at the end Right, so I hope you must be able to understand the logic, the code part. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have provided a code in the description, so you can just check it from there. So you can just check it from there. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.